Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing Accenture actual coding questions. So these coding questions were asked in today's exam that happened on 9th May 2024. So as both of these coding questions were very easy, I have analyzed most of the slots for Accenture exam and all the questions are very easy. So if you have done programming or a medium level also, then you will be able to solve these questions. So if you want to know that what type of questions are getting asked, so make sure that you're watching this watch this video till the end because total two questions I will be discussing in this video. Okay, so make sure that you are present on this channel. Do subscribe this channel because a lot of interview experiences regarding Accenture and TCS will be posting on this channel. As well as if you want to give mock interviews for TCS and Accenture, the link you will find in the description box. Okay, so guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, do share this video among your friend also so that they can also get to know what type of questions are getting asked. And do hit that like button for this particular video. So let's start this video. Okay, so guys, total two coding questions I will be discussing in this video. So this is the first one. So question is given a string, you are requested to determine whether it should be converted to all uppercase or all lowercase depending on the count of uppercase and lowercase letters in the string. Okay, so let's just see with the help of example, we are given an string which contains both uppercase letters as well as lowercase letters and we have to convert that string into either into entire uppercase uh, string or entire lowercase string. Then what is the parameter of deciding that? It is depending on the count of uppercase and lowercase letters. So let's see with the help of examples. So we have an input string of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, here uppercase letters. How many uppercase letters are there? So A, C, E, G. So total four uppercase letters are there. And how many lowercase letters are there? So B, D, F. So total lowercase letters are three. Okay, so uppercase are more. Okay, so in this particular example, there are more uppercases than lowercases. So therefore, the entire string should be converted into the uppercase. Okay. So this question, uh, this coding question is also very easy. So I've told you it's very medium level questions that are coming. So do not panic. If you know basics of coding also, then you will be able to do this. Okay. Do these questions. So since a uh, number of uppercase characters are more than the lowercase characters. So therefore the output string is the entire uppercase character. Okay. So this was the first example. Let's just see the, with the second example. So in the second example, the input string is X, Y, Z. Number of uppercase character is one and a, a number of lowercase character is 2 okay so see so therefore lowercase are more so therefore the output string will be entire lowercase so this is the all question so let's just quickly move towards its solution its solution is also very easy so let's just not waste time and quickly move towards the coding part of this particular question okay so for saving time i have already written the code so code here is we will first take string as input okay c in s then we will uh, make two variables one which will store the count of upper letters and second will be storing the count of lower characters okay starting with zero so first of all what we'll do we will iterate over the input string okay so like this and we will for every character we will check whether it is an uppercase character or it is a lowercase character how we will check it so uppercase characters sky value starts from 65 so 65 is capital a and end with z that is 90 and lowercase characters sky value starts with 97 small a is 97 and 122 is small z okay so by this sky value we will compare each of the characters and if it is upper it lies in the upper range then it we will do upper plus plus and if it lies in the lower range we will do lower plus plus. Now next step is that to check whether we have more lower characters or more upper characters. So first condition is that if there are low if lower characters are more than upper characters then the entire string will be converted into lower case. So again for that what we will do we will iterate over the string. So all those characters which were uppercase now will be converted into lowercase. How we will convert uppercase character into lowercase? So as I have told you that uppercase SK value starts from 65. So capital A is 65 and small a is 97. So the difference between 65 and 97 is 32. So what we will do to convert uppercase into lowercase, we will just add 32 to it. Okay. So S of i is equal to SI, S of i plus 32. We will do it for all the characters which are lying in the range of uppercase. Okay. Now next scenario is that if our upper characters are more than the lower characters then the entire string has to be converted into uppercase okay so again what we'll do we will iterate over the entire string and we'll now check if the current character lies in the range of the lowercase character then we will have to convert it into the uppercase how we'll convert lowercase to uppercase we will simply subtract 32 from those sky values so 97 is the sky value of small a and 65 is the sky value of capital a so for converting small a to capital a we will have to do minus of 32 okay so s of i is equal to 
s of i minus l2 so this is how we will convert upper case strings and lower case strings let's just quickly see with the help of example so here you can see that a b c d e f g h okay and there are more lower case characters than upper case characters so therefore the entire string should be converted into lower case let's just see now so output you can see that entire upper case oh, uh, entire string has been converted into lower case now let's just add more characters upper case so a b c d e f g h i j k so in this string now the upper case characters are more than lower case so therefore entire string should be now upper case let's just see so here you can see that entire string is the upper case now so this particular solution is running perfectly fine and it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you so this was question one for this video let's just now quickly move towards the question two it is again very simple let's just not waste any time and quickly move towards the question two so question two is again very very basic question okay just read the question and you will know the answer it's just a simple mathematical operation okay let's just quickly read the question so akshay has a number of toys and he decided to donate some of them to an ngo after donation he still has some toys left write a program to help akshay to determine the number of remaining toys so it's all like it's all bullshit this question then let's just quickly to see towards the example so here example is number of input toys is 50 number of toys he uh, has donated is 45 the remaining number of toys is 5 okay just you have to do the maths 50 minus 45 is 5 again example 2 is in number of input toys is 60 and number of toys he has donated is 6 the remaining number of toys is 54 simple maths i don't know what Accenture wants to know by these questions from the candidates it's just a simple subtract operation that a candidate needs to do in the coding so even if you know a basic coding then you will be able to do solve this question let's just see now the code of this particular question it's again very straightforward so we will take inputs two variables as input one is the total number of toys he has second is the number of toys he will donate and what we'll do we'll simply print the c out the remaining number of toys is the string that we have to print and then we have to simply do the subtract operation that is x minus n number of toys he has minus number of toys he has donated let's just quickly see now what is the uh, run on the any test case so 21 is the toys 5 he has donated so answer should be 16 let's just see what is the answer <clears throat> so answer you can see here is 16 simple subtract operation if you will take one of the sample inputs 15 and again 5 so answer should be 10 again a simple subtract operation number of toys left are 10 so this was all for these questions both the questions i have discussed if you have any more questions that you want me to discuss i will be uh, i will give the telegram group link in the description box you can mail me uh, you can mail or send it uh, send your questions to the telegram i will happy i will be happy to make the videos for it okay so do subscribe this channel for future videos for interviews as well as for these type of questions that are getting asked and if you want to give mock interviews for tcs accenture or any other company the link for the booking of mock interview are in the description box okay so thank you for watching this video